Welcome to Bible class, everybody. Y'all ready to sing some songs? Yes, we need to stand up, sing. Probably, right? Yes, Hannah, what do you think? Should we stand up? She's standing. She's ready. She's ready. Oh, Maddox is ready. He's coming in fast. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees, made the mountains up so high. At the top, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. In the middle, he had lots of fun when he made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. Made the mountains up so high, and at the top he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. In the middle he had lots of fun when he made the... Manatee! Kangaroo that jumps a ton. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Hip, hip, hooray, God made me and you. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Hip, hip, hooray, God made me and you. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees, made the mountains up so high. At the top, he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. In the middle, he had lots of fun when he made the manatee that weighs a ton. Mana, mana, manatee. Hip, hip, hooray, God made you and me. Man, a man, a man, a tea. Hip, 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 I made you and me. Woo! <sighs> Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When the Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. And he makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Tall mountains, green valleys, the beauty that surrounds me all makes me aware of the one who made it all. I know that Jesus is well and alive today and he makes his home in my heart nevermore will i be all alone since he promised me that we never would farm all right let's get a let's get someone else to pick a song jonah you got a song you like what song jesus loves me with the me's or without the me's all right, let's do it. Jesus loves this I know, for the Bible tells so little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves. Yes, Jesus loves. Yes, Jesus loves. The Bible tells me so. We got them. We got them. Right on the end of it. Let's do it the normal way. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's do one more. Who has a song they want to sing? Me. What do you got, Titus? Jesus loves me. That was such a good one that we just sang. Good idea. Ashley, what you got? Oh, man, hands go up before we're ready. Finn, I'm counting on you. Oh. Jesus loves the little children? Oh, I knew it. Good pick, good pick. 
Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. And Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. And Jesus lives for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus lives for all the children of the world. Good job, everybody. Y'all can have a seat. All right, we could not have picked, you could not have picked better songs for tonight. We sang a lot about how much Jesus loves you, and that is what we're talking about. That's who we're talking about tonight. The very, we're, first, the very first Christmas, we're talking about Jesus and how much God loves us and how much Jesus loves us that he came here as a baby. We talked about that story last week. Can anybody tell me anything that they remember from our storybooks that we made last week? Remember, it had to do with the story of baby Jesus. Titus, tell me one thing. That's right. The kings were coming to give him gifts. We're going to talk a lot about that today. All right, what else, Ben? We did learn about that. She was, she was so surprised that she was going to have a baby. And she was very, very glad. Yes. Lucas, what else? Um, she thought, how could, how could the old God make her married and find um, like a, like a person to marry? That's right. And she didn't really believe that. Well, she was very surprised. She said, how can this happen? And then the angel, remember we talked about how important those angels were, and we're going to see them again today. They came and brought that good news to Mary and to Joseph that they would have a very special baby. They had some trouble. They had to go to Bethlehem. Do you remember that? What happened, Asher? Right, we did our census in class, we got counted, that's right. And then what happened when they got there? Something kind of bad happened. Lucy? What was bad is because they went to an inn and there was no more, and this man offered what he could, and that he could, and that was a lot. That's right, they could not find a space to sleep that was like a room, and so they ended up staying in a place very similar to a barn. And that's where baby Jesus was born. Lots of people came to see Jesus, and today we're going to find out about more of them. So we left, at the end of our story last time, we left talking about how the shepherds had been told by the angels that the Savior of the world had been born, and they, of course, wanted to go and see him. In our story today, we're going to start with some more people that want to see Jesus. And we have the pictures really big behind me, okay? Here we go. This is from the book of Matthew in chapter 2 in the Bible. Remember, this is just a retelling of the stories that are real in the Bible, and these are just some pictures to go along with the story. I love the story. Good. All right. When Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky. Remember we put a star in our book last week? Some wise men who lived far away saw this star. They knew it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. The wise men followed the star. On their way, they decided to stop in the city of Jerusalem to sing King 
Herod. Can you say King Herod? King Herod. Good. They wanted to see King Herod. He's a king, so they stopped in Jerusalem to see him. The wise men wanted to talk to ask him about the baby king. Now, Herod was a mean king. He tried to trick the wise men. You must find this baby king so I can worship him too, said Herod. But that was a lie. He wanted to get rid of this new baby king. Hmm. The wise men left Herod's palace and they followed the star. The star led them to Bethlehem. There they found young Jesus. In this picture, that's Jesus right there. Does he look like a baby anymore? No, he's gotten bigger. He's growing up just like you. They worshipped him and gave him gifts fit for a king. Gold and sweet-smelling spices. We'll talk about those in a minute. So he got gifts. After the wise men left Jesus, an angel appeared to tell them something in a dream. He warned them, do not go back to King Herod. So the wise men went home on a different road. When the wise men did not return, King Herod became very angry. Show me your angry faces. Oh, no. Show me your happy faces. Those are much better. Okay. Uh, but King Herod was angry. He yelled at his soldiers, go and find that boy. I will be the only king for the Jews. But God's angel warned Joseph in a dream. Take your family and escape to Egypt. Do not return until I tell you it is safe. That night, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus left for Egypt. There they are. Years later, God's angel said to Joseph in a dream, King Herod is dead. Now it is safe to leave Egypt. So Joseph, Mary, and Jesus left Egypt, and they went back home to Nazareth. But that's not the end of our story. We were singing tonight about Jesus loves the little children. He came and he loves you and he was born and he died and then he rose again and he lives in heaven. And that's what these pages are about. So Jesus grew up. When Jesus grew up, he did many amazing things. Jesus healed sick people, calmed dangerous storms and fed thousands of people from just a little bit of food. We've talked about that, some of those stories in Bible class too. And he could do these things because he is God's son. Jesus loved people so much. He loved you so much that he died on the cross for everybody's sins. And he's in heaven now. Someday he will come back to take all of us to heaven with him. And that is the story of Jesus. Isn't that a good story? And it's real. It's from the Bible. It really happened. And I just love it because it feels so good to know that our God loved us so much that he sent his son to be here with us. I want to go back to a part of our story that has to do with gifts. Do you remember that they gave gifts? I know. I know you do. Okay. You have a special paper on your... Um, tables and it looks like this on one side and then it has a bunch of packages on the other side okay there should be one for each of you if you don't have enough there are some more in the back okay on the front of this page it tells you in lots of detail about the three gifts that God or that um, the wise men gave to Jesus I'm going to tell you a little bit about them first, and if you guys have time or you want to later, you can read the rest of the page. But there were three gifts that the wise men gave to Jesus. Can you hold up your three fingers for me? Hold up your three fingers. Good job. All right. 
first gift was gold. Can you say gold? Gold. Gold. Good job. We know what gold looks like. It's shiny. Yes, it reminds us of money. It's very expensive to buy gold. Let me tell you, this is not gold. It's fake. But it does sort of look like this. Okay? So it was a very precious, expensive thing that they gave to the king. Remember, Jesus came as a baby, but he was the king. He was the savior. Okay, remember? And so, do you remember the mean king, Herod? He was very unhappy to hear that there could be another king. Okay, but he was. Jesus is the king. And so they brought him gold. Second thing, number two. Can I see your number two fingers? Okay, the second thing that they brought him was frankincense. Can you say frankincense? Frankincense. frankincense. Very good. Okay, frankincense was a special spice or oil that they would use and it smells very strong. I brought some for you to smell tonight. Okay, so I'll come around and you guys can smell that and it smells really great. They would use it as a perfume because it smells good and they would use it for some other worshiping activities and things like that. The third thing I don't have, show me your three fingers. Good. Okay, the third thing that they gave him was myrrh. Can you say myrrh? Myrrh. myrrh. Good job. Excellent, excellent. Okay, myrrh was also used as a perfume. It was used to um, anoint and it was very special. It was also used to embalm people when they died. And so, do you remember in our story that I told you that Jesus came and then he died on the cross because he loves us so much? Do you remember that? Okay. And then they wrapped up his body and took care of him before he rose again. Okay. And now he lives. And so these three gifts were very special. Let's say them one more time. Okay. Remember there's three. The first one was gold. Say gold. The second one was frankincense. Good job. The third one was myrrh. Myrrh. Good job. But listen, we may not get those exact same gifts from God, but we do get gifts from God all the time. So look at the back of your page where all the presents are. There are three gifts. If you can remember them, you can write them in the one, two, three box. And I bet there's people at your table that will help you remember. There are some more boxes here where I would love for you to talk at your tables or write them down or you can draw pictures of other gifts that God has given you that have to do with your family, friends, worship. Okay, God gave us songs outside are there things that God gave you outside I can think of some that I love outside and then things on a daily basis that you have that God has given you because he loves you so much that is something you can do okay also we have some questions here to review our story from last week and from this week that you can do together as a family and there's a word search on the back if you would like to do that for fun. Just reviewing some of the things we've talked about. Also, this week is about gift giving, right? The wise men gave gifts. And when we give gifts and we receive gifts, it's just very special. It makes other people smile. So I have a gift for you. And I have some gifts that I would like for you to give to others. Okay? Um, I have, at the end of class, for each of you, I have one of these wrapped gifts. And they're for you to take home and enjoy. And at the back of the table behind Lucy, there are papers that you can fold in half that turn into a card. Okay? Inside the card, parents, there is either something that they can trace or there's just blank space where they can draw or lines where they can write, whichever works best for your kids, okay? And then I would love, guys, I would love for you to give these to somebody else, okay? You're writing them to give as a gift to somebody else to show them that they're special, 
that you're thinking about them, that you love them. And there's stickers in the back too if you would like to walk there in a minute and get some stickers to add to it. Okay? So we have gifts for you and gifts to make for others. And we should have enough that you can make more than one card tonight if you want to. Okay? All right. At the end, we will have a prayer. And you have the rest of class time to work as a family. God, thank you for this day, and thank you for the beautiful weather, and thank you that the people that are here today come with us and worship you, and thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for us today. In Jesus' name, amen.